plays a lot of fucking games. Sad old world gamer plays a lot of fucking games. He plays a night and day. He plays his life away. Sad old world gamer plays a lot of fucking games. <laughs> Sometimes I just play a few games. Uh, <laughs> hey everybody, it's the Old World Gamer, and as you can see, I'm back for some more Final Fantasy VI for the Super Nintendo, or Final Fantasy III, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> and as you can see, we are currently on the Ghost Train, and we have got to get out of this biatch. Um, and yeah, while I have the time, I might as well say I'm giving a shout out this week, or this time, to uh, Silver Moon 551 who's currently Let's Playing Star Fox 64. Um, he's been very vocal with me lately, uh, he's been com commenting on uh, a lot of my videos and stuff and we've been conversing back and forth and uh, he's looking forward to my stream coming up soon, so um, yeah, well anyways, uh, with you know, as much as he's been communicating with me, I decided to give him a quick shout out, so uh, hopefully uh, some of you guys will go over and check out his content, uh, see what he's like, and if you like him, by all means, subscribe or you know, like and commentate on his stuff and show him your support. So, as always, thank you Silvermoon551 for your support, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Now, let's get to the game. And let's go, and of course, as soon as we start moving, the, uh, we get into a fight, so, <laughs> well, at least, again, at least the fights aren't, uh, too, uh, too difficult or anything. And we finally reached the very beginning of the train, or the front of the train, or whatever the hell you want to call it. The locomotive part. But anyways, yeah, you want to flip the two switches on the sides, leave the middle one alone, then go up to the smokestack, and there's a small switch there. When you press that, it'll start up a dialogue with the Phantom Train. So, you've been slowing my progress. Uh, yep, that would be us. So, uh, here we go. This is our first boss fight, and I'm going to show you guys the easy way to beat this. Uh, I told you, uh, you know, I'm going to show you every secret that I know that can help you or whatever. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go into our items and go look for a Phoenix Down. Now, I'm not sure if they fixed this in the Game Boy Advance or later versions, but it still works in the Super Nintendo one. Use a Phoenix Down on the Ghost Train because it's uh, an undead, I guess, enemy or whatever you want to call it. The Phoenix Down actually kills it, so just watch. Throw a Phoenix Down on it. Oh, there we go. Snap. Snap. And then it just starts to fade away. Uh, I can't wait to start playing this again on the capture card so I can get the actual sound and stuff. Uh, so anyways, yeah, that's an, the easiest way to beat the ghost train. And all it gives you is a tent. And uh, I don't even know if it has anything to steal because obviously you don't really get the choice so, uh, to steal from it. I will let you go, but first there is something I must do. Okay, I guess, you know, we'll let the train do whatever it needs or wants to do. Why not? Grum, 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 grum. I love the music for the ghost train, too. I, oh, just so much of this music so good. This game is so well done. And the train looks really good for Super Nintendo graphics. It's, it's very well done. There's a lot of, like, minor details that don't really need to be there, but, you know, they obviously went through the trouble and the time to, you know, make it as intricate as possible, so... It's just really nice. I mean, look at that. Like, you don't need to have the nice little, like, textured carpet and stuff that's on the floor with, you know, the little gold trim and little gold triangles in the corners, but they did. I mean, even the time is set on those, you know, little lamps or whatever you want to call it. Well, I guess it was supposed to be a train station. Ooh, boy. Finally got off. Whoa, what does that mean? Uh, so as you can see here, we shouldn't be here. Let's go now. So Sabin is, or Sabin is ready to go, but uh, unfortunately, this happens. You feel so bad for Cyan here. <laughs> as you can see, everybody, uh, it, the train is actually picking up people who are moving over to the other side. I guess who are uh, who have died or whatever. And Cyan realizes that his wife and his kid are there aborting the uh, train. Cyan, is that your wife and child? Departing? So yeah, they're going over to the other side and he doesn't even care. <laughs> he just bowls over Sabin, which is kind of funny, but 
it's just so sad to know that, you know, he has to watch his, uh, you know, kid and his wife, I guess, go to the next life, and he's still alive, and there's nothing really he can do about it. And, uh, yeah, they give him some parting words. But, yeah, it really makes you feel bad for him. Probably one of the more sad parts in the entire game. Oh, looks like we got poison on there, so just quickly grab a uh, antidote. And then we won't get that fuzzy, pixely screen. Shadow just says, yeah, let's just leave him alone. And yeah, you're best off just not even doing anything. I mean, if you go and talk to him, you just da 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 da. So just wait a second, and it just fades to black, and you'll be outside of the forest then. Oh, so tragic. You feel bad for Sime, but I guess that'll uh, fuel his rage so that he can be, become a better warrior, or, you know, keep being strong, whatever. We're back to the typical uh, overworld music again. And I tried to fill in the music as best I could for this so that, you know, you guys still had some decent music. I mean, there's some really good music later on that uh, I'm going to run twice for a second time so that we get to hear it a little bit more. Because it's, most people don't get to hear the full orchestrated version of it. They only listen to it for a few seconds, and that's kind of it, so. Like, the the, the water sands here, I added all those. <laughs> I just turned them up and down, like, uh, so the edge got closer. I was looking, uh, I don't know why, but they should have put secrets here. And for some reason, I was thinking that there was something there, but. Yeah, this is the best I could get for a waterfall that didn't sound like it was white noise. This must be Barren Falls. To the south is the Velt. Dangerous creatures there. <laughs> Seems like Cyan's over it. He, he hides his emotions fairly well. I guess being a warrior and all. And retainer to the king. But yep. Oh yeah, and there's a dive sand that I'm going to add in, so. And here, unfortunately, Shadow departs and leaves us. I've served my purpose. And he just picks up his stuff and says, yep, I'm out of here. So if you equipped anything on him before you get to Baron Falls, definitely unequip some of his items if you want to keep anything. And if you didn't, you know, do the little... Uh, cheat thing that I did to get all the levels. Saban just yells out to Shadow. Thank you for your help. Let's join ranks again sometime. Shadow's like, yeah, whatever, dude. I'm out of here. Jump? Why not? You crazy? And, uh, <laughs> well, there's no nowhere else to go, so of course we're gonna jump. And just listen to this stupid dive sound I got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's the best I can do. So, sorry if that sounds weird. And I guess I'll give you guys another heads up. Uh, well, the battles here, you're going to get always the same amount of fish, and uh, there's like a mini bass, I guess, at the end. Wow, and Saban's health is maxed out. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, I was going to say, uh, I might as well warn you guys, this is going to be a long episode, so it's, uh, I think it's 27 minutes or something like that, so plus the outro and intro, it's, you're looking at like 28 minutes, almost half an hour, I guess you're looking at it, but, I don't know, it shouldn't be a too bad of an episode, I just really wanted to wrap up this story, I didn't want to leave it, you know, it's two more fucking parts, so, I just tried to skip on that, not that, you know, I mean, the best thing about this is that the story just continues on so well, and it's just so flowing and interesting, and, you know, it doesn't make you bored whatsoever, so, well, let's see, yeah, I just keep fighting all these, because obviously I'm overpowered, they're doing like no damage, 20 damage, like seriously, it would take them, oh god, it's way too many hits, <laughs> like what, 100, 400 hits or something before they'd probably kill me, well actually more than that, because that's only like 8,000 hit points if they hit me for 20 each time, and here we go, it's a Rizopaz, and that's it, one, <laughs> one strike and it dies. I'm not sure if you can meet that on the belt or not. I don't think you can, but I could be wrong. I'm not sure. I can't remember actually encountering it myself, and you think that I remember. But at least you get a remedy there, and you also get a couple tonics. But, oh, more random sounds. So it sounds like an actual, like, watching up on the beach kind of thing here. Oh, here we go. I made it down to falls, and... Looks like Saban and Cyan passed out, although you don't really see Cyan there, but... Oh, and who's this little fella? Ooh. Oh, he notices us and runs over to... Looks like he might help us or something, or maybe he's, I don't know, stealing our stuff. 
This is Gao's music. Draped in monster hides, eyes shining with intelligence. A youth surviving against all odds. And yeah, this is uh, the orphan Gao, and we'll get into his story a little bit later on. Uh, the complete story. There, there is a way to see it all in the game, and it's uh, there's just a certain thing that you got to do, or certain people you got to bring with you. So, and you are. And <laughs> the thing about Gao is that he's a. Uh, kind of scared of us because obviously he doesn't know us we're strange to him he's actually used to living in the veld oh yeah listen to that awesome veld music and as awesome as it sounds right now a little bit later when you're playing this game for you know just uh, collecting up veld creatures for a gal to use because that's his special ability later on you can actually like when he's in your party he has a jump command so you can actually jump onto your enemies and then they just go away as if the battle's finished and when you defeat another set he comes back just like that and um, unfortunately we can't get him in our party right now because he's hungry and we have to give him dried meat and we don't have any dried meat to give him so <clears throat> we're forced to attack him and he's like okay you know what you guys are assholes wow wow well, well, you strangers go away you scare animals he doesn't even care that he got hit he's just like yeah you guys are strange get here but yeah we're gonna go we're gonna go all the way east here jesus we keep running into enemies and yeah i was in the middle of explaining shit jesus uh, i'm not very good with consistency sometimes but yeah if you when you make him come back he'll learn the enemies that he jumped on and the ones that you defeated when he came back and they'll be added to his uh enemy list for uh when he does rages and stuff that's his special command is rage so um yeah, you'll be able to make him use enemies, uh, different enemies, I guess, abilities and stuff. Like, some use magic, and others just use, um, what are they called, like, creature attacks or something like that. And some are better than others, and, you know, some have, uh, magic attacks that you wouldn't normally be able to get, so. But yeah, this is the town of Mobliz. I'm sure you've read the, uh, caption at the top. I've been talking to a few people already, but, yeah, you can, uh, quick get some new equipment and stuff here. There's a few different things you can do here, uh, while you're here in this village, actually. There's one, uh, very, very rare, um, relic that you can get here called the Tintina Bar, which is basically, when, once it's equipped, when you're walking around, like if you're walking around a city or on a map, anywhere, it doesn't matter, as long as you're walking, uh, your character will regain, uh, hit points, so it's more or less like a... A permanent cure now it doesn't do like loads and loads of uh, you know hit point return but I mean it does it without you using magic points or potions or anything like that so I mean as long as you have time you can just go back and forth and yeah I'm just gonna try and level up or uh, get the best equipment for everybody obviously so I got lots of money still still uh, almost six million <laughs> gold but you know where are we keeping all that where's this special pocket I want one of those special pockets that I can just put anything I want in there it's like, yeah, I'm just going to keep six, six million gold pieces in there. A few, you know, a few suits of armor, a few, you know, helmets and stuff, some swords. <laughs> but, yeah, anyways. Yeah. So, yeah, you can get the Tentina bar here. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else there's. There's a whole storyline that you can actually help continue. In order to get the Tentina bar, you, um, you'll write letters to uh, the soldiers... But we'll get there in a second anyway. I'll explain more when we get there. Uh, let's see. Nothing in the inn. I don't think so. Let me check and see if there's a clock. Nothing in those. And it doesn't look like there was a clock there either, I don't think. Yep. No clock. And yeah. Ugh. The dazzle with its slow ass. Look at that. It looks so gross right now. How is the Super Nintendo moving too fast for something that was made, like, years and years after it? It's horrible. Let's see. I threw some dried meat into a herd of hungry animals, and some kid emerged and grabbed it. Well, that's how you get Gao. That's your little hint on how to get Gao. So you go to the item shop, and what do you know? Right at the very top, you got some dried meat. And you can actually use that to, uh, I think you gain health when you eat it yourself anyways, but... I just bought a couple pieces, just, you know, why not? So let's see, here we have the, this house has the, uh, the carrier pigeons that they use to get, you know, uh, messages all, I guess, around their continent or their world or whatever the hell you want to call it. And, yeah, he's just, I guess, showing us where, uh, let's see. Whoa. 
not pay attention to what was going on there just then. Oh yeah, he's showing us where the boat goes or something. Or, uh, oh no, no, the Serpent Trench, that's it. Happen to the current, you'll be swept to Nakia. Too bad her underwater breathing device was stolen. Oh my god, someone stole your breathing device? Well, we just gonna have to go find it for you. And while you're here, don't forget to grab uh, an elixir and that clock. There we go. And the best thing about elixirs, they're fairly rare, even though you find them in clocks and stuff, but they, you know, completely um, restore your HP and magic points at the same time, fully. If, you know, if you're on one, you have 9,999, it completely restores it. But only for one person, but I'll show you a place later where you can actually farm uh, elixirs and mega elixirs, which do the same thing as elixirs, except for everybody in your party. Let's see what this girl has to say. Some soldier wandered here, busted up pretty bad, too. Doesn't look good. Only the letters coming from the town of Miranda are keeping him going. And that's the whole part where this is where you get the Tintina bar. There's a letter here in the counter for him, and you can actually, uh, well, as you can see here, I'll grab the, uh, actually, I'll talk to him first. I'm from Miranda. The Empire invaded and made me join their army. This is the worst thing about posts, is not knowing what's going to happen. So it is kind of. I don't know, on the fly commentary, if you would, or if you will, so. Uh, but yeah, this is the soldier that you talked to in order to get the Tintina Bar. I don't know why I stopped it for a second, Jesus. But yeah, you, this is the soldier you talked to to get the Tintina Bar, and basically what you do is you keep reading him letters over and over again, and because you help him so often, um, he will give you that the Tintina Bar relic, and thing is once you send a letter you have to get there's a f place here that you can go and sleep for free I'll show you that as well or maybe it was an item shop no I don't think it was but anyways there's a place here where you can go and sleep for free just walk into the bed and then you just you know have a nap or whatever you do that a couple times and each time uh, you do it just come back to this guy's house and uh, yeah that's her name Lola and she'll actually come into the storyline again a little bit later on as well so that's actually not the end of it. It's it's kind of funny. You'll you'll hear a bit more about it later. <clears throat> but yeah, there's a if every time you go and rest, you just come back to the house, check, and if there's a letter, you just go and read it to him again, and just repeat the thing, repeat the same process over and over until he finally just gives you the Tintina bar. Yeah, and although I've talked to like pretty much everybody in this game already, I might as well go and do it again, obviously for the uh, the game. That's Dwayne and Katarin, and I believe, she, yeah, Dwayne and Katarin are both 16 and in love. It's like, yeah, okay, that, that's nice. That's why they're just looking at each other and can't talk. But, uh, again, they'll be... Mobilis is actually a fairly important town. You just don't realize it yet. It'll come uh, into play a little bit later in the game, or actually much later in the game. But, yeah, even Dwayne and Katarin, both of them will actually have a role to play a little bit later as well. So, it seems like almost everyone you meet in the game has their own story even if they're not main characters at all it's weird if their sprites are either a bit different than somebody else's then they probably have a storyline in the game of some sort so that's one thing i really do like a lot about it but yeah hopefully let's hope that gal comes back now we have some dried meat so we can hopefully attract them back to us and get them to join our party kill these grease monks oh there we go well uh, <laughs> and yeah we know you're hungry but don't worry we're not going to attack you this time we're just going to oh let me guess it's all the way down to the bottom yeah here it is i need to go and arrange my items and yeah make sure you put the dried meat on him because when you do oh and this is the music i was talking about earlier that uh, i wanted you guys to hear to complete uh i guess version of it because later on it gets much more orchestrated and most people only get to hear the first few you know a little bit of this before it actually goes into the really good part of the song so i just figured i'd let it play throughout this part of the uh of the video so that you guys can hear the full version yeah anyways you guys know what i'm saying shit why do i explain stuff so much i don't know <sighs> you're a regular munchkin and you afraid of me <laughs> you you want to fight we not want to hurt you. Gao's a little bit funny in this uh, story as well. Oh, oh, looks like they're fighting. They're fighting. Whoa. Wheeze. Puff. You're pretty tough. 
That's a you're a poet, or but eh? Yeah, we know he's tough. Waha! That fun. You strong. Oh, now they're going right to it. And ah, uh, guy just stops and laughs at him. Me like dance. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you good leader. <laughs> Shut up! Oh, so I had enough of it. Simmer down, sirs. And thou, old wild one, who might thou be? Thou? Thou, thou? <laughs> thou, thou. <laughs> thou, thou. Thou, thou. Okay, it's enough of this thou, thou. You angry? Cyan, you angry me? Did Cyan actually say his name yet? Cyan, you angry me? <laughs> Cyan, you angry me? Dude, you're bugging the shit out of him. Listen, his family is just... Me understand. Me sorry. Me not mean person. Oh, Gao is a pretty nice guy. Look, we can't have you two prancing around all day, Gao. I think we're going to get on well together. Why don't you join us? Ah, I give you a present. Gao gives Sain and Sabin a nice gift and thanks for food. I'm like, no, 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 no. What manner of rubbish do you suppose he's gonna... Gao's treasure, shiny, shiny. Shiny, shiny, shiny! Oh, can anything be that shiny? Well, how the hell do you know until you go and check it out? Does Mr. Thou like shiny thing? Mr. Thou is that one over there. <laughs> A shiny thing, eh? Think how jealous Locke's gonna be when he hears about this. Who be Locke? He bad man? Maybe he tries to steal my treasure. <laughs> Locke, well, he's... Damn it! There's someone, someone's talking to you! I think he's trying to tell us something. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, Alright. Carry on. Oh, well, what's he doing? Here, here. Shiny thing here. Sabin. Place where you buy food? It called Mobles. Cyan. Place where you stand? River brought you there. Now we go Crescent Mountain. Shiny thing. There. Look, let's just go along with him to this crescent mountain. <laughs> yeah, I love this part. Same and stops and he's just like, jeez. Phew. Why'd we invite him along anyway? Watch, watch. Uh, oh, yeah, moon walking in. Mr. Thou, hurry up. We're leaving. Hey, I told you once, I'm not Mr. Thou. <laughs> and he runs after him. Oh, here we have the little fun. Oh, jeez. I know I didn't explain it for no reason whatsoever. Little imp dude. Hello, little imp dude. Or kappa. Here's how to build up Gao's skills. Although he looks exactly like an imp when you turn into one. One, choose leap. A command that only appears when you go on the veldt. Ooh, a little sploosh. Two, keep fighting on the veldt and Gao will reappear. He'll have learned the... Three, attacks of the monsters you were fighting when he leapt and returned. Well, 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 Number four, choose the command Rage and you can use any of the attacks he's learned. And now, please continue your quest. Thank you. Well, thank you, Mr. Little Imp Dude, for uh, pretty much saying what I said earlier and doing it probably a, a better job of it. <laughs> oh, oh, he fell down. He's, he said, uh, okay, bye. Mm, he just walks off. <laughs> Uh, they have a lot of fun and funny and cute parts of this. They just do so well with this game. Ah, oh, that's right. I have major love for this game. That's why I always choose it as like my favorite game, just because I don't know. I like the story of this game and just everything about it's just so good. They know how to use every bit of emotion for like pretty much everything and anything that you could possibly, you know, imagine. I guess, which is kind of cool. Oh, and we're going to go learn the Serpius. And the reason I'm going to go and learn them is because they actually have, um, when they use it, it's called Beak, and it turns you to stone. But when you when you come back as Gao and you use the Serpius skills, well, you'll attack. They all have an attack, a regular attack. Then they have a special attack, which is could be magic or a creature skill. And basically, Serpius, instead of using Beak, Gao will use Break, which is the same thing, and turn them into stone, which is real nice. <laughs> And yeah, don't attack, just wait a second, he goes, well, I'm Gao, I'm your friend, let's travel together. <laughs> uh, it sounds like a, a creepy European dude or something. 
Uh, nah, I'm saying I'm not saying that all European dudes are creepy. I'm saying that he sounds like a, a European dude who would be creepy. So, no one get bum hurt. Oh, the guy was having a look around. Sian and Saban are like, what the fuck? What is he doing? Oh, wait. Sian, the shiny thing Gao spoke of is in here. Uh, Sir Gao, where exactly is it? Gao, forget. Oh, you son of a... Shall we look around? Indeed. Instead of going and exploring, I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, so I guess I'm not actually going to finish up their story. God damn. But we're almost finished, so it's not much longer. One more episode. And at least I'll be able to record it with my new capture device. But as always, guys, uh, sorry it took so long for me to get an episode up. You guys know the deal. Uh, collagens and all that stuff. So, anyways, as always, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'm the Old World Gamer, and I'll see you guys soon in a new episode. Later, guys. How come no one ever wants to try a 10 pee? You know, like a girl sits down and the dude kind of pees in between her legs.